Hey, hey, family, it's J. Anthony Smith back again with another Good Brother Spotlight, the podcast that celebrates and honors black men doing positive things in the community. So if this is your first time, welcome. And to our supporting brothers and sisters, thank you again. So after a few quick shout outs, we'll be right back with our Good Brother Spotlight. If there's anything that this pandemic has taught us, it's that our health is of utmost importance. And what better way to take charge of your health than to put the right mix of eating right and daily supplements to give your body the best chances to fight off infection? Well, check out Pharmacy for Life, your online resource for the best tools to give your body a fighting chance. Check out Pharmacy for Life, with an F, on Instagram and their website to purchase today. All right, family, we're back. So I got a quick question for you. To uh, some of our older listeners, the more mature listeners, what were you doing when you were 19 years old? Now, I had to think about this myself, and when I was 19, man, I had just entered my sophomore year of college. I was still living at home. Um, I had my own car, and I was basically just, you know, living life, not a care in the world. Well, Our Spotlight Brother today had other plans. You see, our Spotlight Brother today is King Randall. And at 19, King Randall was living in Albany, Georgia, which is a small rural area of Georgia that had extremely high murder and conviction rates for African-American males between the ages of 17 and 25. Now, when King noticed these statistics, he decided that there was something that had to be done. So he went to committee meetings and just trying to see what he could do to help deter these high rates. Now, after seeing that nothing was really being focused on that, he decided to take matters into his own hands. So he took some young men and just started to give them some life lessons and life skills, uh, home improvement skills. So he was teaching them about changing oil and you know, other types of uh, maintenance and home maintenance skills. So he was also taking them on field trips to educational venues. He was also noticing that some of their reading rates were really low. So he opened up a book club to help increase the readership of these young men. So he was pouring life into these young men at 19 years old. Now, as fast forward two years later, there was an opportunity of an abandoned school that was going to be demolished by the city. So he decided to inquire about purchasing that building. Now, come to find out, he was able to purchase that building after donations from individuals who had noticed his efforts and he opened up his own school, the X for Boys School. So at 21, King Randall was able to accomplish his goal of opening up his first school a school that was dedicated to increasing the life expectancy of these young black men in his city. Instead of just sitting around talking about it, he got up and did something about it. So we salute you, King Randall, for taking charge of your community and reaching back to those behind you and helping them to have a better outlook on life. King Randall, you are a good brother. So stay tuned for my closing thoughts. In my closing thoughts today, I want to focus on the vision was given to you. In the case of King Randall, he saw a need, but before he made the step, he looked around to see if anybody else was going to do it. And when he realized that no one else was going to do it, he stepped up and took charge. I know some of you listening today have been in that situation as well. A vision was given to you, but you looked around to see if somebody else was going to do it. But then you realized it was given to you to accomplish. So when a dream is put into your heart, don't procrastinate. Don't think that somebody else was going to do it. The plan and the vision was given to you. So that's my closing thoughts for today. Thank you again for listening in to the Good Brother Spotlight, where we celebrate and honor black men doing positive things in the community. 
be sure to share and subscribe to our podcast and look forward to hearing from us next week. Have a great day.